Chapter 2, Assembly and Functions. Let's discuss the initial assembly. The Gillibrader 3 comes with a base that is fully assembled and includes an internal battery. All that is needed is to attach your desired flow cell and use the tube sections and adapters to set up your sampling train. To attach and detach a flow cell from the base, press down firmly on the cell release button here. With your other hand, gripping the side, pull horizontally away from the base. To connect a new cell, simply align the connectors on the flow cell with the openings on the base and gently push in horizontally until the cell snaps into place. Note, you can see the cell release button move down and back upwards to its top position when the new cell is seated properly. The sampling source to be calibrated may be either a positive pressure device like exhaust air or a negative pressure device like a suction pump. Tubing must be selected based on the flow range and fittings. The calibration base unit comes with a standard 3 8 inch outside diameter fitting. Step down adapters are provided with the kit. A 3 8 to 1 quarter inch adapter and a quarter inch to 1 8 inch adapter. Note, if your sampling source will be used with a filter media, ensure that the media is placed in between the sampling source and the calibrator to account for back pressure. Failure to do so may alter the flow rates of the sample. Now I will point out the key functional parts of the Gillibrator 3. The LCD display is a color touch screen that allows the user to interface with the calibrators. You may also use soft tip stylus if preferred. Now the status and notification LED down here is located adjacent to the lower left corner of the LCD display which will display the following status codes. Solid blue means the Gillibrator is on. When it displays green, the firmware update is pending or in progress. When it's flashing blue and red, that means you have extremely low battery. The Gillibrator 3 will shut itself off at this point. C is the ambient light sensor and charge indicator LED. The ambient light sensor and charge indicator LED is located adjacent to the lower corner of the LCD display. Now this LED will indicate the status of battery charging. The sensor allows the LCD backlight to increase the full brightness when direct sunlight is detected. The LED will briefly be turned off as necessary to measure the ambient light level. The charge indicator LED will be turned off when no power supply is connected. However, when connected, it will turn red while charging, green if fully charged or trickle charging is occurring, and it will alternate red and green if the USB power is insufficient to charge the battery while running. K is the inlet barb, which is located on the top side of the base. This is where makeup air is drawn into the calibrator when using a vacuum source like an air pump. It may also be connected to a positive airflow source like one used in a bag fill operation. L is the outlet barb. This is the one on the bottom side of the base and it is connected to an air source pulling vacuum via the media and sampling train.